Biochar is a hot topic in agriculture and soil health. While a lot of people have never even heard of biochar, interest is on the rise and biochar products are on the market. Let's unpack the mystery of this valuable resource. What is it? How can farmers use or even make it? And what lies on the horizon for the future of biochar? First things first, what is biochar and how is it made? Biochar is an organic substance almost like charcoal that's made by heating organic matter in the absence of oxygen, typically in a wood stove, pit, or kiln. Johannes Lehmann, a soil scientist at Cornell, does extensive research on biochar and is an expert on its production. Biochar can be made from all kinds of materials, crop residues, uh, such as uh, cherry pits or corn residues, uh, but we also have made um, biochar from animal manures. That's right, biochar can be made of almost any organic waste product from farms. All of this material gets packed together and fed into a specially designed machine. Biochar is made uh, in a kiln such as this one, uh, where we heat biomass to about 350 degrees to 600 degrees Celsius for just about 10 minutes. Um, and that transforms the organic matter from a rapidly decomposing material into a very long-lasting soil amendment. In many ways, biochar can be compared to compost, but with one important difference. Compost supplies organic material that decomposes pretty quickly, whereas biochar persists much longer in the soil and does not directly supply nitrogen. Think of compost and biochar as two runners. One is a high-powered sprinter, the other built more for distance and endurance. The sprinter, compost, can run carbon and nutrients to your crops fast and supplies energy to microorganisms, but then he tires out and can't bring any more. You'll have to bring in a new sprinter if your crops and soils need more. The distance runner, on the other hand, biochar, can keep nutrients and water available to your crops, but he isn't very fast when made from crop residues and your crops still need added nutrients. But what if you combine the two? Biochar can also be added to composting before it's composted, um, as we have found that the composting process is greatly accelerated uh, and the product of the compost combined with biochar is a superior soil amendment. Biochar clearly improves soil fertility and crop growth, but that's not all it does to improve environmental sustainability. It also sequesters carbon and making biochar can even generate energy. That energy can be converted to electricity, captured to provide space heating for buildings on the farm, or even transformed into liquid fuel with the right equipment. So what types of research are expanding the knowledge and use of biochar? Dr. Lehman is working on several projects. In one of our current projects, we are actually converting dairy manure from upstate New York farms uh, and working with a local soil manufacturer to produce potting media uh, that are uh, sold uh, to consumers um, and we found that this material has a very high value. In other projects, Dr. Lehman is investigating the reduction in transportation cost of dairy manure by converting it to biochar first. This reduces transportation cost by 96% and allows the nutrients in manure to end up where they're needed rather than in local rivers and lakes. He is also analyzing using biochar from crop residues to improve basal growth in greenhouse systems. Biochar is a valuable tool to increase soil health on farms. New York Soil Health supports biochar research and more information can be found on our website.